In this video, I'm talking about five items. This is a little group review. These are the items which you might not know that you need if you are a photographer or filmmaker, or they're just basically ideas if you are looking for something new to buy, something different, or if you are looking for idea to gift a photographer or filmmaker. Now, to be honest, if I got gifted any of these items, I'll be very happy. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go into the first item. The first item are these very cool looking quick release plates. There's lots of quick release plates available out there. I particularly like these because they do look very cool. So what are quick release plates? These are the tools to quickly release your camera or quickly put the camera on another device, i.e. tripod, monopod, gimbal, slider, or whatever you screw on camera to. How they work, this bit goes onto your camera, underneath the camera, and this bit goes onto your stabilizer. And with a camera attached to this, it basically clicks onto that and it's solid, rock solid. When it really comes handy is when you got two of these and you got one on a slider, one of these bottom bits, one of those on your bottom, on the bottom of your camera, and then another one of these bottom bits on, the, on your tripod or your gimbal and you need to change quickly the camera from one to the other without unscrewing uh, unscrewing the bottom plates if you've got different plates on all these devices. You simply, you simply take your camera from your slider and stick it onto your gimbal in one swift move like that. They are very handy to streamline your procedure of changing camera from one stabilizer to another quick release plates. These are from Zipon. I didn't say the name. They're from a company called Zipon, which do actually accidentally make sliders, but they actually look very, very cool. Zipon quick release plates. Number two, these filters. I am not a huge fan of filters. I do have to use ND and variable ND filters when I'm filming with the wide aperture lenses, but all the filters, gradual filters and all fancy filters. I'm not really never been a big fan of because most effects filters create, you can't add in post. But these are different. I didn't know I needed them. I wanted them until I have tried these. These are from a company called Freewell. They do magnetic, quick magnetic release filters, which I have reviewed before the whole set of them. But this, this, these two filters, Obviously, you buy them individually. They are streak filters. One is gold, one is one is blue. And what are these? What is do? They are obviously a quick magnetic release system uh, from Freewell. So this is a lens cap which magnetically attaches to to the filter. The filter itself attaches to to this ring which goes on your lens. End of your lens, screw it on, and then the filter basically just magnetically attaches to the end of it. These filters. What's different about these? They got that very 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 fine lines across. This one is got the blue glass and the blue lines and the other one is got gold lines and the gold glass, slightly yellow glass. What they do, they create streaks from a strong light sources. So if you point your camera, your lens at night, at the lamppost lights, any kind of lights really, outside or inside, they will create streaks. And with these filters, by turning them, you can actually change the angle of these streaks. So what's really, really handy is the blue streak filter for creating anamorphic like streaks. So you know the J.J. Abrams anamorphic famous blue, Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams, these blue streaks from the from the lights in, the, in their movies. Yes, they created with anamorphic lenses, which are pretty expensive and you need special camera which can film with anamorphic lenses. With these, for the fraction of the cost, with the blue filter, you can create that, that long streaky effect if you put it in a horizontal direction and use it correctly. If you put on a too wide angle lens, the streaks will bend slightly. That's not correct way. Ideally, 35, 50, 85 millimeter, these will do a very good job at mimicking in some way an amorphic lens. I do like a nice, fun, creative tool to, to do something different with, photograph with photography and video. This item, seemingly, it's a little bit boring. It's a hard drive. But there is something special. There's a so few things special about this one. This hard drive, firstly, is the look of it. It's not your standard black or gray hard drive, boring like just every other one. This one looks a little bit different. It has got a famous painter, Dutch painter, Mondrian uh, painting on it. I didn't know that. All my friends knew what that is, apart from me. I had to research it. But it looks cool. It's not your 
boring standard black or gray or silver or whatever it's it stands out but what's really special about this hard drive is his write writing and reading speed it is a very fast i think it's something like 440 gigabits per second uh, it's writing through a fast usb-c cable so i don't i don't use this one particularly for backup it's only 512 gigabytes drive but i use it to work from when i need when i need to edit video from a drive uh, i have recently filmed a music video that was 13 14 takes 4k takes in s-log and v-log with panasonic and sony cameras uh, to to work synchronized together with music and work uh, as a multicam setup so i had to play all 14 takes with a color grade at the same time even the the, the laptops my macbook pro hard drive internal couldn't cope with this this can do it so i use this when i need very high processing reading and writing rate this is amazing to to use in the field when i'm on the move to to basically work from and and it looks really really cool what a cool hard drive and it is produced by the company called Oracle. The next item is this uh, wireless microphone from x5 u6 it's called this is a alternative there's a lot of microphones around out there available i'm actually recording now with a rode wireless go which is quite premium and expensive compared to this this is alternative cheaper alternative great for a gift or great for as a first microphone it has got two items it's got a, a receiver and a transmitter with a built-in microphone there's a other other optional uh, bits coming with it you've got a clip on clip so you can clip it to your clothes and hide in your pockets also you've got a cable to connect it to your to your, your receiver to your camera also you do have an adapter to connect it to your phone so if you're recording with your phone your TikToks and you don't want to be right next to your phone a bit further away you can use this microphone as well it comes with a little pouch but you also get a wind move which attaches to the end of the this uh, module the whole thing is very very easy to use you switch it on you basically connect with a channel one on one and a channel one on, on the other one uh, three buttons very easy to change the channel if you needed to you also got a decibel button for adjusting the volume so if someone talks really loud you're recording live music maybe or, or the environment is very loud you can change the volume you're recording your volume in this and that's it also it comes with a few stick on pads so you can actually hide it inside the clothes and see so so you don't see the clips like this uh, so you can hide it inside the pockets or underneath the tissues so the most important bit how does it sound okay let's change my road into this and and let's check it out okay so yes, yeah, this is the sound from X5 U6. Yes, it's certainly smaller than Rode. It's less bulky, so you can actually wear it on top of the clothes and it's less obstructive. You can see it less. It's also because it's smaller, it's easier to hide inside the pockets or underneath the clothes. It sounds really okay, don't you think? For the yeah, budget-friendly microphone like this, it delivers pretty good results. It's pretty good range as well. Yeah, I really like it. The only thing that would make the microphone better if it had a mini jack input for a tie clip lavalier microphone to attach to your clothes and actually hide this in your pocket but it's not a big deal it's the size of it as i said before it's it's pretty good for hiding inside the clothes underneath the clothes and even on top it's not too bad yeah pretty good mic field world loot 5 field monitor there's lots of monitors out there budget friendly monitors and i have tried a lot of them you know what some of them are okay some of them are very very flaky but this one really really stands out from the crowd yeah quality it delivers it's just outstanding the picture quality but also the all the tools the touch screen it, it just does the job very well very well it has got uh, the histograms the waveforms the rgb parade zebras focus picking you name it also the anamorphic the squeezing if you're using anamorphic lenses so you can preview your picture uh, recorded with anamorphic lens correctly on this uh, sd card slot for loading your favorite loots you're using post to preview your footage you're filming with with the loot you're gonna be editing with after uh, yeah pretty sweet also as you can see i am previewing the picture i'm recording on it now wirelessly that's not the part of the monitor you have to buy this extra but i do have this holy land i think it's mars 400 it's called a <laughs> wireless um, uh, transmitter receiver system and i never use it because i can never mount it to the monitor properly easily and yeah 
<laughs> so it's actually usable. But this has got this dummy battery on the back of it. So you've got a slot for a normal battery uh, you have to power the monitor from, but also this dummy battery to connect all the accessory to. In this case, I'm connecting this wireless receiver to this. So it, one battery powers the monitor and the receiver, and I can just carry it like this to monitor the footage from the, the camera. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, also, this is a very, very neat feature. The screen rotates like on your smartphone. I have never seen this before on a, on a portable uh, monitor like this. So yeah, Feel World done this again. They do very good quality monitors at affordable prices. And this is a no exception, very good quality, great monitor. And this is it from me on this very short uh, group review. If it was entertaining in some way, please give me the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. It's uh, made of two parts. But it also, hang on. You also get a wind move. But what's really, really special about this hard drive is it's write and write and write and read. <laughs>